Hey love bugs and welcome back to Honey Tea Tarot. Here we are with another channel message. So the channel song that I got for you is Alone by Emma If I'm saying it right, I don't know how to pronounce her name. But uh, when it be like, excuse me while I love me. Excuse me while I love me. Excuse me while I love me. That joint. So... I'm definitely getting that some of you guys have been in like an isolation period, an isolation season of getting to know yourself, to getting to know your likes, your dislikes, setting boundaries, getting standards, standing on your standards, not lowering your standards, like actually becoming one with self. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. But I feel like it's time to allow people in. So you may have been someone that experienced like when you were had close connections, friendships and relationships, you experienced a lot of like backstabbing, a lot of people taking you advantage, um, taking you for granted, trying to use you or manipulate or just find a way to get over on you. And it was because at that time, back then, you lacked standards, you lacked boundaries, you lacked um, that line, you know, that you will not cross and you kind of let people play on your top or went for anything. You know what I mean? And you had to go through this isolation period where you were able to pour that self-love into yourself, able to to learn your likes and your dislikes, able to learn what, what are boundaries for you, what are deal breakers for you, what are no goals for you. Like, you know what I mean? Actually taking the time to get to know self. And again, that's a beautiful thing, but you have to realize that boundaries are there to keep the wrong people out, not to block everybody from coming in. Like you get what I'm saying? Like it's to keep it's to keep the wrong people out. That's what boundaries are for. Um, and I feel like you may be in a state of um just I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody. I don't need nobody. And that's not true. That's not true. Like, granted, you probably don't need anybody, but you do desire and want and need genuine soul-fulfilling connections. You desire to experience that. So... There's nothing wrong with having your boundaries. Have those boundaries. Stand firm in those boundaries. Stand firm on your standards. Stand firm on your deal breakers, on your rules, on your no goals, all of that. For some reason, I want to say touch me not. Like, whatever, whatever it may be for you. Like, whatever it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stand firm in that, but still be open to allowing connections. Still be open to experience people, places, and things. That's the energy that, that I'm getting. Like, Because a lot of you may be coming out of this isolation period and you may be, or maybe you're not coming out of it. Maybe you're willingly still in it. You choose to still be single by yourself and alone. You know what I'm saying? But there's men, people, women, places, whatever that's gravitating towards you. And you're like shooting everything down. And you know, and you're you're saying that it's because of your boundaries, your boundaries, and it's like, in a in a sense, that becomes like your clutch not to allow yourself to experience new experiences, not to allow yourself to build new connections and new friendships. It's like it's like a safeguard. It's like that. Um, I don't know if y'all ever seen the meme, but it's like when a dude is breaking down the. Um, the bricks and stuff and the girl behind is still putting them back up like you're not gonna be able to hurt me you're not gonna hurt me again you can work hard but you're not gonna get this wall to come down like it's it's kind of like that like you get what i'm saying like the boundaries is there to to keep the right the wrong people out the boundaries is there to make sure the people that do come into your life respect you make sure the people that do come into your life are aware of your boundaries and they respect your boundaries they abide by your boundaries they are there to get a sense of self. They're not there to block every connection out the way. Okay? And I feel like some of you are using that, oh, I have boundaries. Oh, I just have high standards. And you're using it as a blocker to not indulge in connections. 
but you guys truthfully desire to indulge in connections. Yeah, so open your heart space to receiving because it is there. You have to be open to receiving it. I don't know, my hands want to move back and forth, so give and take energy, I guess, yin and yang. Yeah. Excuse me while I love me. Excuse me while I love me. Excuse me while I love me. What I'm getting while I'm doing this and singing this song is that you need to learn the flow of being an individual, loving yourself, having your self-worth, your boundaries, your standards, and still being able to coexist and, and, and love and build with other people and, and connections and relationships and friendships. It's a flow of things. You didn't come here just to be by yourself. I mean, if you did, maybe you want to, you know, be in your own little world by yourself. But I know I did not come in this big old world not to experience beautiful things and beautiful people with beautiful souls. I know I came here to experience that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you, if not all of you, came to experience that as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? So be open to the yin and the yang, to the give and the take. Be open to those new connections of them respecting your boundaries and you respecting them and you having healthy healthy connections emotionally healthy connections because you have a sense of who you are what you will and will not allow what's your deal breakers what's your goals what your boundaries and standards are and this person has the same exact things so now you're able to learn how to have a healthy connection with people, how to build healthy friendships and healthy relationships and not just people pleasing or being stepped over like a doormat or people trying to take you for advantage or people seeing that you don't have any boundaries or no standards. So they just walking all over you like it, 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 it allows you to to experience, to cultivate, multiply and increase healthy connections. It's a, that's, that's all, that's what I'm getting. Excuse me while I love me. It's like a, a healthy thing though. Cause there's going to be some times where you're going to be like, excuse me while I love me. And they're going to have times where they're like, excuse me while I love me. Excuse me while I love me. Ah. Like that's that's what I'm, it's like a they're going to be able to to teach you shit more healthy boundaries more standards more insight and prospection and and just guidance in the experience of having healthy connections and relationships. I'm not saying in no way, shape, or form to lower your boundaries or your standards, or you get what I'm saying, or whatever like you get what i'm saying there is someone out there that is the yin to your yang there's someone out there whether it's a platonic or romantic friendship whether it's business shit or on some just you see them in passing whatever y'all get to know each other it is someone out there to go to the yin and the yang with you there's someone out there to have healthy connections with one another that way we can learn the insight and the growth and the experience that 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 comes with the same way we get insight and experience from toxic trauma-filled relationships is the same exact way we get experience and insight and guidance from healthy connections and relationships. It's the same way that we evolve from trauma-filled, chaotic relationships. We evolve and ascend as well from healthy connections and healthy relationships. Okay, I'm getting that y'all are the type of people, like, y'all people person that don't like people. And it's not that y'all don't like people. Y'all really love people. But it's like because of how, because of how your experience has been, because of the way that 
the friendships you've experienced, the family ships you've experienced, just the experience as a whole with people, it made you a little standoffish when it comes to people, when it comes to new connections, when it comes to getting to know people. You want to help somebody, feed them, might buy them something. You might even, you know, do something to extend to take care of them real quick or help them out. But you kind of like want to send them on their way afterwards. Like, you don't want them sitting in your face. You don't want to chill. You don't want to hang. Like, yeah, I helped you. I love you. I'm sending you positive, loving energy. But, yeah, it's time for you to go on home now. Like, that's the energy that I'm getting. Like, a people person that don't like people. You love people, though. It's just the experience that you have experienced. It's just the type of connections and the energies you have came in, in contact with that has you a little bit standoffish. But it's like, it's time to embrace what is coming to you because you still desire these connections and these friendships and if you don't desire them no more don't let me project or tell you what the fuck you did what the heck you desire okay you know what you desire you know the truth okay so if you don't truly desire friendships and connections then this reading may not resonate for you because it's not for you this is for those of the people that are barricading themselves in the corner in the wall in the back because they had so much bad experiences or they don't want to experience the negativity or the trauma again of coming out and mingling with the people, coming out and building connections and building friendships. They don't really want to be let down because they had expectations. That's another thing. Stop having so many high expectations of people. That'd be also the problem um, most of the time is we have high level expectations. We put in people up here that's like right here. We got them over the skill, can't even see their ass, and they still right here. They ain't even make it, they ain't even make it here yet. Like they stop having high expectations of people. Let people be who they are. And then you figure out if that's the type of person that you want to indulge in, if that's the type of person that you want to mingle with. Okay, everybody that you come in contact with, ain't nobody gonna be a hundred percent perfect. Ain't nobody gonna check everything off on your list. You're gonna have to compromise somewhere. Somewhere, shape, weight, shape, or form. You're going to have to compromise somewhere, okay? Just like you have things that come with you and things that you may be still working on or just flaws or whatever you want to call them about yourself. There's other things that people have about themselves. Like, it's okay to open up and experience people. It's okay. I hope y'all getting the message that's, that's coming through. I, I think I'm explaining it in the way that y'all understand. I hope y'all are getting it. Be open to receiving the connections that you truly desire. Be open to receiving the connections that you truly desire. Any additional messages here? Balance. Bring balance into your life. Again, stop barricading yourself from that corner. You want friends, you want parties, like not low vibrational parties, but even we came here to experience. I ain't saying be out here doing no extra wild stuff, but you can have a drink or two with your friends. You can go to, I wouldn't say a club, that's a lot of different energies, but you can have like a little house party with your close friends. You can build relationships and friendships to where you and your friends come over and y'all do a game night. Y'all play spades or whatever, have a couple drinks, do a movie night, something, a pain and sip, something. You you desire that. You desire close connections. You desire people to piggyback thoughts and ideas and, and you know, million dollar thoughts and stuff off of each other. You want people that can feed into you and you feed unto them. You want to receive unconditional love. You want to experience that, not just from yourself, but from other people too. Okay, I'm not I'm not the reader that's going to sit here and just scream self-love, self-love, self-love to y'all. Yes, everything does start with self-love. Yes, you have to go into self first. Yes, you have to be self-accountability, self-accountable first. Yes, you have to do self-realization first, self-forgiveness -for self first. Yes, all those things come first. Yes, it does. But that does not change the fact for our need and our desire to want soulful, fruitful connections. That does not change the desire to receive unconditional love, to, to, to feel love from other people. Okay, so don't feel ashamed that you 
desire connection. Don't feel ashamed that you want close friendships or you want to build your own family or, or you're manifesting your soul tribe. We came here to experience people, places, and things. That's why it's so many different people, places, and things. We came here to, yeah, peace and harmony. We came here and loved one in heaven at the bottom of the deck. We came here to experience those things. We are God experiencing ourselves, okay? Open your heart to new connections. Open your heart to new connections. Open your heart to be in love. And I'm hearing love hurts. Love does not hurt. And anyone that loves you, even if they do hurt you, baby, it ain't going to be intentional. It's not going to be intentional. And when they become aware that they have hurt you, they will do the things to, to correct it and it will not happen again. Again, that goes back to we all got some shit that come with us. We all got some shit. I might do or say something to somebody that I don't think nothing of. I didn't know that it offended them. I didn't know that it hurt their feelings. I didn't know that it triggered them. You get what I'm saying? I, I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't mean. I didn't. I didn't intentionally mean to. I didn't mean anything by it. But I didn't know that that's how they would feel. Like things happen. You speak up. You open your mouth. You come to an understanding, a, a overstanding with one another, compromising, expressing your feelings and your emotions. Okay, love does not hurt. And if someone does hurt you that loves you that that loves you or that you love, trust me, they are going to do what's needed to rectify it for it not to happen again, and it will not be intentional. It will not be intentional. And this is um signs from heaven. I didn't get a message from this yet, so I was going to put it back, but I'm going to leave it out. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. Shit, this is probably your confirmation. Or maybe maybe God is trying to, to send you love notes in the form of people. Maybe God is trying to <laughs> get those connections aligned with you, get you in a space to be able to open to receive those connections, to receive these friendships. Don't hate, meditate, spirit animal. Thank you, Animal Kino, for pressing, for blessing my path with love. Yeah, I feel like Spirit is trying to get you into a space to be open to receiving these connections. Also, use your discernment. Use your discernment. If you don't have anyone around you to like to test your discernment on, how are you going to test it? Use your discernment. You're going to trust yourself enough to use your discernment. That could be another thing for some of you. You're not willing to go into relationships or connections because you don't trust yourself because of so many mistakes or wrong turns or F ups that you did in the past. You don't trust yourself now to pick the right man, to pick the right job, to, to pick the right house, whatever it is. You don't trust yourself to venture off on new journeys. You don't trust yourself to do those things. So you'll rather just stay coddled in the corner. You'll rather stay in your box. That way it's comfortable. That way you don't have to F up. That way you don't have to mess up by accident. God is trying to put you in places to use your discernment, to increase your discernment, to give you self-validation of your discernment. Mm, that's way too many cards. We're going to take the single one that fell on the floor over here. Yeah, clear your vibes. This goes back to trusting yourself. Clear your vibes. Clear your thoughts, clear your feelings when it comes to new connections, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to relationships. Trust yourself again. You've been doing the work. You've been healing yourself. You set your boundaries. You set your standards. You've been working on your intuition. You've been working on your discernment. You've been working on being consistent to yourself. You've been working on keeping your word to yourself. If you can trust yourself to go out into the world and make the right decisions. 
Okay, you've been unlearning and relearning. You ain't been doing all this for nothing now. <laughs> okay. You've been doing it to enjoy you, but it's time for other people to enjoy you too. And it's time for you to enjoy other people as well. Okay. Trust yourself. You can make the right decisions for you. One more card, please, Spirit. You can make the right decisions for you. One more card, please, Spirit. Live your joy. The miracle of forgiveness. Live in your joy. Again, go out and, and go to places that you like to do. Whatever you like to do. Whatever makes your heart sing. That's where you're going to meet like-minded people at. Go live your joy. Go live in your happiness. Go live in your peace and your excitement. Go live in your freedom. You're now free. Mentally free. Emotionally free. And physically free to be yourself. Because you have chosen to be free. Go live in your joy. Go live in your happiness. Go live in your peace. Go live in your excitement. Okay? Forgive yourself. You are deserving of new connections and new relationships. You are deserving of fruitful connections and relationships. You are deserving of soul-filling and feeding connections and relationships. You are deserving. Okay? Forgive yourself. And walk on out into the path of your happiness. Let's see what's under this. Your path of your spiritual abundance. The path of your increase. Again, if this don't resonate with you, if you if you okay with being a lonely duck, not calling you a duck, trying to say nothing bad or nothing, but still a lonely duck. If you okay with that, then this ain't for you. This is for the people that are ready subconsciously, but don't know how to consciously move behind it. But they're ready subconsciously to embrace new connections. New friendships, experience, new people, new places, new things. They just haven't consciously made the decision or they haven't had the confidence to make the decision. This is for them if it hits you in your chest, okay? If it ain't hit you in your chest right here, right now, then maybe this message is early for you, okay? Maybe you just haven't got there yet, and that's okay. Sometimes my messages is mad early, you know? So that's okay, all right? Take what resonate, leave what don't. And of course, don't never just take my words for it. Go to your altar, talk to your higher self, talk to God, talk to your um, ancestors, all those that you commune with, okay? Speak to them first. Don't never just take my, my word or anybody else's word for it. All right. The same answers that we provide you is the same answers that you can tap in and get yourself. And you can also verify whether you're getting the right information for you or not. Okay. Love bugs. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm. Namaste.